All right, here we go. Hope everybody's doing great. Just wanted to show you a little bit right here. I'm gonna be doing a, I'm gonna be stretching a, making a wooden stretcher actually, not stretching, making a wooden stretcher. And it's uh, 11 o'clock at night right now. And I think I have energy to do it. I know I have energy to do it. So I'm gonna do it. Here we go. So I'm gonna apply. I'm gonna. I cut this thing so uh, just about uh, just about right. Almost perfect. <laughs> so this is a 24 by 36 stretcher that I'm gonna be doing. So I like to make them very simple. This has, this has worked for me for a long time. That's glue that right there. It's tight bond glue. Just regular carpenter glue. And then, um, here we go. This could be for, I don't recommend it for like canvas, for your canvas, for the stuff you're going to paint on. Uh, unless you're doing mixed media, then yeah. Because they sound so cheap already, you know, like, they're so inexpensive. Stretch canvases. I do this for, 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 uh, mixed media that I do and for for canvas prints. I actually have someone do them for me but every now and then I run low or, or that someone doesn't show up on time <laughs> so I gotta do one I gotta do one or two myself and I take the opportunity to show you guys how to do a simple one. Okay. So I just kind of put blue right there. Okay, nothing too much. That's it, look. Okay. The way you square this is by measuring corner to corner. I think I mentioned this in one of the larger ones that I've done. But 24 by 36 roughly measures about 43 inches and one eighth. 43, 43 and an eighth of an inch. There we go. It's like too perfect. <laughs> it's like too perfect. No, you got you gotta have them. You have you gotta have them square, otherwise they're not gonna look good. There we go. And then I have this little this little gun right here. This little nail gun. I have some nails right here. We can get out Home Depot for like a hundred pounds. And then. Which bam, ready to rock and roll. Okay. Always stay away from the thing, from the that thing. You don't want to be close to it. Like you don't want your hands close to it. It's like your hands are like your most precious precious tools. You don't want to be so close to it. And always wear goggles. Or I wear whatever. Pull my pants up. So I tack it. I always put a little nail. Uh, you guys will see why. Just to keep it in place. See? And then this way, if I need to stretch more or pull or whatever, it's easy. It's not gonna be hard now because it's not completely uh, attached, right? So there we go. See, it's super awesome. So I want to take time here to do this little, this little tutorial, little demo for you guys. Look, this measures 24 by 36. 36, of course, long, 24, high or wide, whatever. Uh, if you want it to measure 24 by 36, if you want this to measure 24, like this, this can't be 24, this has to be 22 and a, and a half. If you're using, uh, what is it? Three three quarters of an inch. Yeah, you can you can find this just about any hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, or whatever. I don't like a buck a buck or two a piece, and they they sell them for like eight foot long. So these are not my go tos all the time. Uh, because you have to kind of, I mean, if they if they're cheap, it's gonna be. You have to kind of like fish out the good ones, and I don't. I don't really have time to be doing that. I don't like doing that. 
So, what I tend to do is, is uh, just go for the for the for the price a little higher. Not 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 you know you know you don't want to get like the most expensive stuff unless unless you have it figured out of your budget, right? And I'll go for for a little bit something a little bit higher than like a buck or two. And this one's happened to be not that high in price, but I like it, you know. I could choose this. I had the time to choose. And I was walking around. My wife was at Target, and I was walking around Home Depot. And I was like, "Okay, I got a couple of minutes to choose." I'll put another one there. I think I. At this point, I'm I'm over killing it with the nails. You don't need to put more than two nails on each side. Okay. But what the hell? Okay. And there it is. Safety first. This thing is a hell of a thing. It's not like contractor grade or anything like that, but but uh, it works. It works for a weekend warrior. I have it here. Um, my guy who does the my frames for me and all that stuff. Oh, man. He. Uh, he has one with the pressure, the, uh, the, what do you call it? Compressor. Yeah, compressor. He's got a big compressor. He does all that stuff. But anyways, guys, just wanted to show you really quick how that's done. I hope that uh, you guys got to see a little bit more of how I do it. Very simple stuff. And hope it helps you. All right? Take care. Adios.